Hello, welcome to another segment. In the background, you'll hear my one year old, but bear with me. Alright, I'm sorry I haven't blogged in a while, but um, I've been dealing with trying to get a disability insurance um, through the through my state or federal whatever anyway there <laughs> as you can tell my son likes to rearrange things but anyway that's my son in the background but um so anyway um so my my qualm um yeah that's the right word qualm my issue with the disability insurance people is that first of all the the application is four pages long four pages and the last two pages is all medical stuff now I understand that I can comprehend that I can understand you know I mean it is a disability application I understand that but okay um I'm sorry, but half of me, half of us who have disabilities cannot remember what happened in when we were born, or we can't remember what what operations or things like that happened when we were children. Um, luckily for me, my mother is still alive, and she's been more than willing to help me. But. If she wasn't, I can imagine that some people without their parents who file this claim, this disability claim, um, can be very frustrating. Very, uh, it's, um, I'm a pretty analytical person, and I decided that if I wa was going to file for disability, I might want to be checked out by doctors currently. The last time I had a real full physical um, observation um, by doctors was when I was 16 and I'm now 27 so I thought maybe if I filed the paperwork with with uh, medical files that were from 1996 that the um, that the d disability people will uh, require me to see a current doctor so I um, so <laughs> not what I want to be showing on YouTube, but that is okay. He's a kid. He doesn't know what he's doing. Anyway, um, uh, what by, what I need to do is see current doctors. I went to, to um, a claim a doctor as my my regular physician. I'm I recently moved to areas, so I need. I needed to get a new doctor anyway, so it wasn't a big deal, but I went to one doctor, um, and she's like, yeah, it's obvious that you have cerebral palsy, it's obvious, um, that you have scoliosis, uh, but I have to have you see a neurologist to see if you have any brain, um, issues, um, nerve ending issues, things like that caused by your disability so I went to see this neurologist and she is really nice um anyway she is like okay we're gonna have you do an EEG an EMG and an MRI um so I went and did that then she says oh on top of that I want you to see uh physical therapy and my regular doctor my my regular medical doctor said he, she wanted to see me see a physical therapist as well. Um, anyone who's ever been seen or things like that from a physical therapist, usually they get what the doctor wants done and they look at that only. They don't go outside the box, I guess. But anyway, so, so I did that and then now I noticed on the application that they wanted to have a psychi 
psychological testing done. Um, because there's quite a few ways you can get on disability, either for a physical uh, disability such as cerebral palsy, for instance, or mental disability such as schizophrenia or something of that matter, which I don't have. I don't have schizophrenia. As far as I know, um, I don't have it. But I do know quite a few people who do, and it's a very, um, I feel bad for them. Um, but with medicine, they, they can they can live um, a semi-productive uh, life. So, so anyway, um, back to me. Um, so I've been dealing with that. I've been going to doctor appointments. Um, I've been seeing doctors or f physical therapists three times a week. Plus, I have to still have time for my son. And I recently had an MR, uh, EMG. And if any of you have to have an EMG and you don't know what it is, it's a test that they check for your nerve system. Um, they do, if any of you have heard of shock treatment, that's pretty much what they do, but they don't do your whole body. Uh, they just do the area that they are concerned about. For me, it was my left arm because I use my left arm uh, more than my right side. Well, when you have a more dominant side, like w like most people with cerebral palsy um, have one or the other that they use more more so. Um, if you do that, you will end up having um, more than likely some nerve ending problems or some joint issues because because of that. So, in my case, I have uh, my arm goes numb. And so, they did an EMG. Uh, what, what they neglected to tell me, and um, if any of you have fears of needles, you will want to tell your neurologist you want a sedative, a muscle relaxer. Um, so anyway, I didn't know that. The first time I went in, they, s they did the, the shock, shock treatment in my arm and it didn't feel anything then she says okay on to the second part and I'm laying there thinking okay what's next and uh, she comes out she shows me this long long needle and she says I'm going to stick you now and I'm like oh really let me tell you I have a huge huge fear of needles I don't like them and please don't stick me or at least give me a sedative so I can at least not be, the, the pain will not be such an increase. So anyway, so she sticks me and I cry like a little baby because I can't handle needles and I had told her that. And so she says, oh, you really can't handle needles, can you? And I'm sitting there thinking, and if you are watching this and you are the person who did this to me, don't take any offense because a lot of people do this to me. They don't believe what I say is true. They think I'm just overreacting or, I, I don't know, a lot of medical staff pe people tend to uh, think they know what's best for you. Even though you live in your body 24 hours a day, they still know what's best for you. Hmm. Let's think here for a while. But anyway, I apologize ahead of time if you are the one who, I who did this to me and uh, is now watching me tell the story. So anyway, uh, this person sticks me. I cry and flinch, and she quickly withdraws the um, needle out of my arm and uh, says, uh, well, we'll just submit this to your doctor, and if she wants you to do another one, she'll call you. So anyway, so a couple of weeks go by, and I'm... I'm sort of wondering, you know, because I see the di I see the neurologist again this month in October, and um, and I was hoping to be done with not not totally done with her, but done with testing <laughs> as far as that's concerned. So anyway, she w she calls me up and the the nurse um, the secretary calls me up and says she wants you to redo the EMG, and by the way, she also wants you to get a neural neurological testing done um, which is what I originally thought I was doing with all this testing but apparently n a neurolo 
I can't say the word, but 